Do you have a New Year's resolution? I do. I've had a New Year's resolution for about three or four years. Not the same one. I've had a new one every year. And what I do is I add to last year's. I don't substitute. If you're substituting, you're not making progress. You focus on that one thing, and it's a theme. I like to call it a theme. My first theme was input, output, muse. And my focus was balancing out listening to audiobooks, creating stuff, and taking time to think. And that's all I did. I kept keeping that in mind. The next year, quality of input. I wanted to raise the quality of input. And I was listening to a lot of podcasts, like a lot of talk radio and, and all that. That was 2017. And I focused on that. And underneath that, I made goals. Goals to support the theme. And one of my goals was 40 books. I'm going to read 40 books. And to that time, I had the most I had ever read was about 24. And I do most of my readings with that, my ear. I hope that was clean. I do clean them out every time I take a shower. Probably not healthy, but I do. So the goal is to support the theme. Quality of input. Okay? Raising the quality of what affects me. And I had to make some cuts. And it took me more than just that year to make all the cuts I needed. But that's why I add two. The next year, which was this year, 2018, uh, 17, uh, right now it's still 17, Massive Action and Review. And I wasn't trying to read a lot of new books, but review some of the old books, because I kind of rushed through them to try to get to that 40, you know what I mean? Massive Action. And I felt mostly that I was failing at the massive action, even though I pretty much completed the goals. But remember that growth is not linear. It's dynamic. It's momentum building. So a lot of my growth through the year starts out here and slowly goes up here in its rate. So I would start off reading about a book and a half a month. I had to increase that to several books in a month. Now, I didn't sustain that. I, I took it down a notch from my 40, went back down to 30 books this year. But the massive action was to try to push a lot of action into my life, putting a lot of effort towards different things. And I was actually able to restart BibleCast after three years. And I'm still focusing on that. I'm going to do more of that. But add to last year's New Re Year's resolution. And focus it on all year long. You know? This year, it's relationships. And I figured that out by July. I knew what my next year's New Re Year's resolution was. And so I thought about it for five months. I've been thinking about it and also applying little steps. Not like a total launch, but yeah, I was focusing on relationships. And this year, the theme is building relationships and people. And so my mission statements are number one, everyone is important. Everyone is important. Number two, the most important people are the ones in my marriage. The most important people that I need to work on are the ones in my marriage. Myself first, because I got a lot of work to do. And my spouse, my wife. Those are the most important people in my life. Right? 
Number three. Uh, what is number three? Oh. I must grow to my potential in order to help others reach theirs. That's three. These are supporting statements. Number four. The biggest way that I could have the most impact on people's lives is Biblecast. And well, this, other forms of producing online. And I thought about four different areas I'd like to, to do, but actually it might be three. Biblecast, my poetry, and a personal vlog, which is what I'm doing. I've been thinking about that for years. But I'm going to do it this year because I would get the most fun out of it. It's not something that is most important. Biblecast is most important to me. And poetry and a personal vlog would be ones that I would be most passionate about and enjoy the most. So, what is your New Year's resolution? Have you thought of it? Don't think about what your New Year's resolution is going to be New Year's Eve. Think about it in November. And you know what? It's okay. You can start late. You have the whole year to work on it. So develop a plan. What is your mission statement? What are you going to focus on? Also for me, my birthday's in July, so I get like another New Year's kind of, right? Because I'm turning a new age in July. And so I am putting off focusing on my physical fitness until July. I might bump it up a little bit, maybe June or whatever, but I'm not ready to commit to that, but I'm going to focus on it. I like to think about it and it becomes a reality. It becomes part of me. And I still think about quality of input, excellent of out, excellence of output. I still think of input, output, muse. I got to make sure that I'm, I'm spending time to, to muse on life, to think about things. I've got to make sure I'm putting out, right? Creating things. Um, and I've got to make sure I've got the quality of input, but also making sure I have some kind of input, right? Can't grow if you don't have input. So I challenge you. Might be a little late, but you're not going to wait a whole year, are you? Take this occasion. Make, what is, what is the thing that you have to focus on the most right now that you should be focusing on the most? Is it physical fitness? Then that's all you need to think about. Don't think about anything else. Just focus on that because the other things can come with that. Physical fitness and exercising can stimulate you to be motivated to, to do other things. Maybe that's where you should start. I didn't have to start there. I've basically not been physically fit for a while. But I've functioned all right. A little caffeine doesn't hurt. That's a motivational factor. I'm sensitive to caffeine. Can you tell? I've had a lot of coffee today. But that was one thing a week ago I was trying to get away with from, and I normalized my caffeine, which was good. Until yesterday, I drank more. And today, lots of caffeine. I mean, not lots. I've had two cups this morning, which is massive. And then, um, just little, like that much, two of these to where my finger is. That's it. That helped me pick me up. But this is my last day. I wouldn't do that during, during a normal day. I drink that at about 3 o'clock. That's a no-go. I don't drink coffee afternoons. So anyway, nine minutes. Are you kidding me? Oh, most of you aren't listening anyway. I'll probably cut a bunch of stuff out anyway. Shorten it. Okay, that's all for now. Bye.